Okay, now let's do our table here now. Now, remember, you're going to vote at the end. This one's out of the voting because it what it wasn't. We're going to explain it, talk about it, but it wasn't made. It was. This is an original. And the person that was going to talk about it a little bit told me a little bit something. He he was afraid it wasn't what he thought it was because it's made out of a certain wood, and he didn't think that wood was um, available at that time. He's going to talk about that. Let's just start with this one. Okay. As long as we're going, we'll start with this one. Yeah, when Hines was talking about old toys, I knew this thing was kicking around up in the attic, so I went up to uh, retrieve it and took it over to Rob so we could examine it a little bit. I was thinking about copying it for my granddaughter. And I got to thinking that when you see the delamination occurring in the plywood here, I'm thinking... If you put that back on the table, you get a oh, picture okay. of it. Yeah, you're just as bad as me. Yeah. I had a good teacher. I'm senior. <laughs> um, but anyway, I saw the plywood there and I thought, that can't be plywood. Hadn't, at least in my estimation, plywood hadn't been around uh, as long as my mother had. So I went to the internet and looked it up and found out that uh, it was invented in uh, Mesopotamia around 3300 B.C. So I figured, well, that this is authentic. <laughs> well, it's really old, isn't she? <laughs> so, yeah, she, she uh, ceased to start to uh, keep clocking years after last April. <laughs> um, at any rate, I, I thought this was a, a good example to bring in of uh, an old toy, you know, classical old toy, and uh, I'm going to work on the uh, next month or so and make one for my granddaughter. I figured she, she loves anything with wheels on it at this stage. Mm -hmm. And you got a good pattern. Yep, yep. Bob, is that rubber around this back wheel? Um, near as I can tell, looks like it's, it's old fan belts. Yeah. It's rubber that's got like metal cable in between to hold it on. There's yeah. a wire inside of it. Wire. Yeah. But you know, I've had solid wheels, you know, that you got for bikes and stuff. If you tear them apart, they have wire around them too, so mm -hmm. it may have just been original how they made tires. Yeah, that might have been the way they uh, they made uh, fan belts back then. It's, it's definitely a V-shaped. And the, the wheels were designed in such a way to accept a you know, V-shaped fan belt. You sure don't want to take nothing and add to the take it off of an antique because if you do, you cut yep. the value in half. Yeah, that's why I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to mess with it. Just do some measurements and uh, get dimensions. Now we're going to big. We're going to go to big stuff. <laughs> I know who made that. This is this is this is three M one L Y. <laughs> or Emily could, could say either one. Oh. <laughs> but it's three, right? We made that look like, you know, the letter. So if you turn it around, it actually looks like we use like a one for an I and a, you know, instead of the E, it's a three. Don't say that. You don't think I'm looking at me. Yeah. Okay. That was uh, the nursery or preschool where my daughter or granddaughter was going to, they had what they call a cool car rally. And like two years before that, there was something else. The year before that was an airplane, so I made him an airplane that he could barely hold on to for my grandson. And then for my granddaughter, mostly what they do is you take a cardboard box, you paint it up, and you draw wheels on it and everything. And I figured I'd make it out of wood. Well, it was getting heavier and heavier, and after a while I had to get casters. And then the casters were too small to roll. I had to get bigger casters so she could roll it easier. And uh, then we ended up pushing it. And uh, it definitely was pretty cool for a cool car ride. She holds her hands on here. It's got a windshield. He's going 45 miles an hour, too, right now. I got my son-in-law to do all the lettering and stuff on the dash. Yeah. I, I could paint the pink, but no. They stand up and they were sitting Oh, yeah. No, they, you can stand up and walk around with it. The only thing was, it's only got one wheel in the front, and I would have liked to put the wheels out a little farther underneath to get more stability. So instead of letting the kids play with it and run around by itself, <coughs> we uh, just, somebody pushed it around during the thing. And actually, my wife pushed it around for the cool car rally. She had just come out of the chemo treatment, and, you know, half hour later, she's pushing this thing down there. You know, looking weak as you can believe, but she, she decided she was going to be there. She wasn't going to miss that event. And then the box itself, we made it like a, oh, the, the back of a truck. And we actually had a stuffed animal that was sitting there that rolled in the thing. And uh, 
I was going to leave it here for Saturday, just use it for a show and tell on Saturday, and then after that, I'm going to try to find some way that's got grandkids or kids that want it, they can take it home because, you know, my grandkids have outgrown it, just taking up room in the, uh, the garage. I hate to get rid of it, but, you know. I didn't have many things that were for kids that are still around. I gave them all to the kids and I didn't have anything. I had that around the house and I had, you know, one other thing that will show you a little bit. Ride that thing, huh? You hold it now, Will. <laughs> I think, do I have it right? Yep. Yeah. Kind of right. Okay, explain it, Mr. George, because I assume this is yours. Well, that's, that's the most enjoyable toy for my grandkids of anything I've ever made. Uh, under my carport, I have three uh, rings, two, two, two at the front and one at the back. And you hook, you just, I just climb the ladder and hook those in. And they, all they have to do is pump a little bit like that. Of course, the short ones put the feet on the, on these things up here. The long ones put it on there. And some of them get so big they, they can't get the feet up there. And they still try to ride it. They'll, they'll hang on it and ride. So it's been many, many millions of miles. First thing they do when, my, when they come to my house, they walk in and say, Granddaddy, get the horse out. <laughs> and it looks like it's made out of oak. Yeah, oak stain. Okay. <laughs> and I do, I do have a pattern for it. I think if I can find it, anybody's interested. You cut that on a scroll saw? No. <laughs> These are not necessarily scroll saw items tonight. Yeah, I, mean, I assumed it was a bandsaw. Okay, <laughs> now I got a big blue box. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that is actually a hockey table. Yeah. Here, I'll get around those. Mm -hmm. We just put them in the wrong place. <laughs> When I was uh, in grade school, I had a program to keep us out of trouble. They would, go ahead and sit, just sit down on the ground. Okay. What they did was they made a bunch of stuff like this, and then you could check out basketballs, baseballs, and all this stuff from the school during the summertime, and then, you know, you got to play with the stuff and you come back. Well, what I did was I made this, and you usually put like a rock down the center part here, to, as you're, you know, starting off. Put one kid on one side, one or the other, and have to hit it down. And you gotta get it over. That's why we have sticks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 anyway, that was uh, I thought that was neat because that was something that you can make in a couple minutes, it doesn't cost anything, except for scraps and my kids, they come over there and they still want to take it down, and throw it out, and play with it. So, easy kids' toy. Okay. We we'll go here. Notice the detail and elegance of this ramp. <laughs> yeah, that looks like an all expense fair ramp. Well, what I'm saying, this was probably a toy that was used back then, a long time toy. That was, you know, because you didn't have motor, you didn't have, it didn't have, you know, any type of line up or anything else. We'll put it down here so it doesn't fall. Okay, let's go. You know, only somebody like George would bring this in, but he didn't bring anything to, to, to use it with. Maybe take the nut off. You can that not nut. use that nut. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Aim it yeah. that way. <laughs> but anyway, so it's a... Uh, it's it's fulcrum, I guess, is what you'd call it. Who's that? Catapult. Catapult. Catapult, that's right. It doesn't have a date on it, because that was before I was putting my name and dates on it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I've seen I've seen that before with like a screen door latch on it, so you could latch it down. 
the yeah. catapult. Yeah. Pull it back and latch it down with a screen door latch. I guess. And then okay. you can just hit the latch. This was, this was a fun one too. One thing about that, uh, and this is I'm, I'm going to try to get it one with a diet program if you dance with that thing as you do it, it'll work. Mm -hmm. But it keeps eating. <laughs> Can you get a good, is it getting a good picture or not? Yeah. 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 But like I said, it's, it's, it's a cool, it's basically a weight, it's just pulling, pulling down. Put that thing up to Beyonce and she can really make it work. As long as you don't have to sing. Okay. Now, Unless it's recorded. Now, you made you made this one, right, Marcus? Mm, no. Okay. But I've got some that I made, but that one is good. Okay, now <laughs> let's go. Okay, now we saw the horse and carriage. That's been passed around. Let's go this way, I guess. Oh, look at the little wheels go. Wheels go up and down, too. She's got roller wheels in the front, too. Okay, anything you want to say about it? That was probably, like I said, that was probably a very, back in its time, that was probably a very high-end toy for the kids that somebody would make. You know, grandma, or grandpa would make it for the, for the kids and daughters, and that was probably, it was, you know, back then, that was probably their only toy. And they took very good care of that only toy, probably. And so, that's it. Okay, now, we'll get in this section here. I think some, this is yours, right? One of them is. Okay. I know this is his. Yep. Those other ones. Huh? I've made those other ones behind it there. Okay. Now this one, supposedly he did this at Rob's on his saw, but he was having trouble with Rob's saw because he had that stupid blade in there. Oh, that was a flat one, I recall. <laughs> Anyway, I told him to use a spiral. But uh, he changed the changed it to chalk because of. Well, I just uh, my wife gets after me all the time about you know whenever I start cooking in the kitchen, I never can follow a recipe. So uh, I just thought it would look better to you know make the truck a little longer, make fenders over the back wheels, use bigger wheels. And so that's what I wound up with. And then. Uh, then I decided it looked a little bit too plain, so I broke out my wood burner and uh, added uh, some windshields, which I thought would be uh, uh, in keeping with the vintage of the truck and doors and a grill and so forth. I was going to tell Marcus it's a 1940 Ford uh, flatbed <laughs> delivery truck. <laughs> and he'd probably tell you they didn't have one back then. If he if they had one, he'd have one in his garage. Yeah, yeah, he would. Is that colored chalk? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I told my daughter what I was making, she said, no, she said, that's not coming in this house, not in the crayons. <laughs> <laughs> so we compromised on chalk. Okay, now, you, these are these are Rob's? No, no, those those two are not mine. The, okay. Those two are mine. Okay, where? No, okay. I'm trying. Am I in the camera? I, like I said, I'm trying to get them so the cameraman. Oh, I, can, I can get to you. Yeah, good right there. So these are two that he, I think. I think, and I think he's already got. Um, uh, they've already been. Uh, they're being delivered, relatively soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've got an eight-month-old great-grandson that uh, those are destined to go to. So you got my, to, my wife brought me a brand, branding iron, turn them upside down, you can see. Oh, look at it. Woo! Well, that's kind of nice. Well, is that one a gas operator or electric? It's electric. It's electric, yeah. Did a very good, it does a very good job. Well, most of the ones I've seen like that, they weren't happy with that. That's a great job. Yeah, it did really well. That's good. Okay, now we're into, okay, who's, who's with these? Those are mine. That was just a variety for the kids to play with when they come over to the shop to play. Okay. The one that's got the crane on top, uh, my granddaughter decided to paint it for me. Oh, this one? <laughs> okay. Her mother got all upset with it. I don't care what happens. <laughs> uh, 
the nuns. On those two that I got, I used shellac on them. Okay. I was told that shellac, uh, shellac is a is a good thing for for toys for kids mm -hmm. because it's uh, it won't hurt. Them, in other words, yeah, yeah, because it's an edible. So, yep. yeah. yeah. The other thing, the right. other thing that use that I use if I use stuff, I use is um, is a mixture of mineral oil and beeswax. And what I do is I take I take a bottle of mineral oil and put it in a put it in the put it in a, in a pan on the stove, and then take beeswax, you know, a couple cups of beeswax. I mean, full. What I do is I grate it so it's so it's grated, and then you drop it in the you drop it in the mineral oil when it's hot, and just keep stirring. And then once it's done, you just let it cool. If you really need it real quick, you can put it in the ice box if you want it to. But then it becomes a paste. It becomes a paste and and. It's edible, so if I use it, that's what's used on that one there. Uh, let's see. So this is this is yours yeah, too. Yeah, that was made Okay. On now we go over here, and and it looks like uh, somebody's wife is playing with this. I had these on the table. I had these on the table Sunday night to, to bring them over here, and she just sat there and was talking to my daughter-in-law and uh, just started stacking them. She had every one of them for three, all three sets in all directions. I, I took a picture. Can you see that? You can see what happened to it. Am I holding it right or you got tilt? Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Of course, the kids enjoy that because once they get to that point, they, they tip it and, and watch them all fall, fall over again. Yeah. Yeah. But these are all individual, in, in, you know, just cut individually. You stand them upside down or right side up. Or However you want to. You hook the toe and... Go out to an angle, an angle. And you can put them underneath and whatever. And then, in George's case, which makes a nice thing, you, you, okay, he glued, he glued the bottom one of this to this piece of plexiglass, so that way they've got a sturdy base. So then, you know, most of the kids are going to want to play on the floor. Most of our floors have carpet on them, so it would be real hard to keep it, you know, so it wouldn't, they could have, it would just be a disaster, they wouldn't have fun, but I'm saying this way you could do it on a piece of carpet and it would be fine. So that's one thing to do, and you can use a lot of scraps. And you don't have to paint them, if you don't want to, you could, you know, you can leave them. Okay, let's go to, now this one George did, and it says by George, but it's, oh yes it is, 19... 90? 1990. 1990, Mr. George made this one. And I was told that this one, this one, and this one are carousels and merry-go-rounds. <coughs> Why is that? I thought they were all carousels. Well, <coughs> the, re the difference between a carousel and a merry-go-round is the direction in which it travels. So that's according to the definition on the web, on the web and stuff. So you learn more trivia here tonight. Yeah. So 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 what I said is in this case you've got a carousel one way and you've got a you got a merry ground the other way. So okay, and then this this was this was George. Then this one was done by Marcus. Following a very poor set of plans that I gave Henry and George, because in the plan it said cut cut this this length to this and cut it to cut cut it to three uh, three and a third inches. You know, that was the other thing you had. On. I know, I know. The thing behind behind you was. I know. I got you. I go with that next. Yeah, go on.
at the top, just like George has on his. And then what I did is I knotted it. I used the as I used the dowel rod at the top. I also used a section of dowel rod on the bottom and on the bottom to use as my stoppers. All I did is cut a small section of dowel rod and put a drill hole through it. So that's you know that's just another way of doing it. George's is probably more practical. This one, this one you hang up on a wall or you hang up on a door on a door, you know, like on a door frame, and then the kids can play with the kids can play with it. And you can do it. But you know, talk about simplistic. Okay. Now I think this is Marcus's, right? Now see if I can do it, Marcus. What is it? Close it. See? Close it, Tom. Huh? About opening it back on the... Now. <laughs> it's supposed to disappear, isn't it? Now, here you go. Now put it back over there. <laughs> That's magic, see? Yeah, just so long the child doesn't check the serial numbers. <laughs> They're close. <laughs> They're close. <laughs> now there's this here. This is a toy. It says lift ball without touching without touching the ball. So I'm just gonna I'll leave that one. I don't want to give the Don't let George see it, but pass it around. People don't. that ain't done it, let them figure it out. Okay, now we've got. Turn it upside down. Yeah, no, you're, supposed, you're supposed to be able to sit on the table. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. That's oh, you didn't those. bring any marbles for me? That's one of the oh, good. Fight yeah. the <laughs> Come on. I had one on my desk I was going to use. It was a jelly bean thing, but I forgot. So you got to. Let's get, let me move these back. I have to put these plastic things there because it kept flowing out. So hopefully. So it was a little thicker and a little bit wider. And I had a lot of fun with it, just a simple marble game before Atari and all the video games. <laughs> and actually I had a lot of fun playing with it, and, but I had more fun taking it apart. <laughs> <laughs> it was a simple little box with slats in it and I just took everything apart. I said one of these I had to make another one and stuff. So, it's, so this I just um, did a dovetail joints on the box itself and then routed out the groove for the marble. But I probably should have made it a little bit wider. And it wouldn't bounce so much. And somewhere I just saw a pattern. Somewhere I just saw a pattern for a huge. It was in the last magazine. It's a huge marble thing. I mean, it was huge. I mean, it went around and it went on the outside. And went around. It wasn't in a this fashion. It was more of a house, and the marble went all the way through the house and whatever. But I saw that pattern out there. Okay. Now. Now we've got. An old fashioned ladder. In this case, this is 1800s. These were made in the 1800s when that was predominant, predominant. Okay, now this is a gorilla, and this is George's. And I want to make sure I put it back far enough so it doesn't fall off. The other one works a little better. You do that real well. <laughs> now, now, knowing George, have you got your camera, sir? Can you get it close over here? I need a cl close, close view. Now, now, George, now he 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 does this fine painting of these ones. Okay. <laughs> that one makes it faster. Okay, so. <laughs> Now, now George, he 
George always adds that, that little twist. <laughs> At least we got it covered. <laughs> Is it counterbalanced? And and here's nineteen fifty five and I don't know what age, but this was George. He was talking about that swing that swing on the bottom down there that he was doing. Yeah, that of course that's the swing. And that other one, uh it it completely decomposed, so I couldn't bring it. But that, that horse is on it's got springs on each. And 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 the lay and the label on the back of this photograph. 1955. 1955. I made that for my my son. He's 62 now. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought you were going to tell me that it was George. I didn't know they had cameras back then. 1905. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, when I got into looking at this for finding old toys and old things, a lot of them, I'm just going to, I'm going to, some of this has nothing to do with, with scroll saw and understand, but I got a book, it's called Easy to Make Old Fashioned Toys. But I don't think, I think there's only like maybe one or two in here that have anything that would even, you could even do on a saw or anything. Most of them were made out of paper and string. And I'm just going to go through some of them, just talk about, because you remember when you grew up. Um, I think it's better. Hans, you know so, that whoever uh, made this demonstrated? That's Marcus can demonstrate it. You, 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 you anybody figure it out? I do, I've, I've seen it before. I've seen it before, too. This one work. You old man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be full of hot air, man. <laughs> well, you know, my little five-year-old said, bring, yeah, I can do that, Papa. Bring it with you, too, so we can work on it. All, all I do is go on top of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well anyway, he come back. Remember when you grew up? Remember when you were growing up? Remember when you were growing up? And you had two strings, and you'd have a. We should have brought a flip flop, mm -hmm. you know, slingshot. Right? Yeah. And you'd have you have a, a paper thing. One side had one thing, and one had the other. And when you when you twisted the strings, then it would be create a, a a motion picture, and you and it would look like it was doing different things. You know, here you had the bird. What about when you took two strings and put a button on them? I, and made the button go up. Yeah, got this one coming in. But here here you've got here you got a bird down here. And you got the cage up here, and you put one on one side of the disc and one on the other. And when you twisted it, it looked like the bird was in the cage. Yeah. Here was the same thing with jockey and a horse. Here was a kite, and everybody's made kites when they're growing up. And crash one. <laughs> here was a. I hadn't done one of these. This was like a, like a wheel type thing. They called it a. Uh, no, they called it a P-H-A-N-T-a-scope. Panoscope. Panoscope. But anyway, that was kind of interesting. Then they did the tumbling acrobats, which were made out of paper. And you just piled up, If you here's the paper, here's the pattern, whatever. You rolled them, and then they tipped over books and rolled down a bunch of books. Then they did kind of like a maze game, which would be a high... At that time, probably back in that age, it was uh, what we have for uh, uh, arcade games, you know, the marbles and stuff, but I'm saying this was, the, this was the precursor to that, probably. Then here was uh, kaleidoscopes. I remember I made a lot of those with, uh, you know, do a lot of them with uh, stained glass and mirrors. You know, you take, you take a mirror and you cut it in a triangle and you glue it together and then you, and you put it around and what you can do is you can, you can put, some at the, put something at the end, whatever it is, and you turn it and it's going to multiply. Uh, boomerangs. You know, everybody tried to make boomerangs? Dangerous. Yeah, you 
they don't come back for them. Lost the hundred of them. You know, pea shooters. Uh, this one is kind of cool. Is, is anybody, how many people have made three-way pictures? This is kind of a cool one. You take three pictures that are identically the same size. They don't have to be the same subject, but they need to be the same size. And then what you do is you cut them and fold them. So when I look straight on, I see one picture. When I walk to this side, I see a different picture. And when I walk to this side, I see a different picture because what you're doing is basically folding it and crimpling, crimpling it up. So the picture is basically in a 3D mode. You know what I'm, see what I'm talking about? Everybody seen those? Like a fan? No, it's, it's, it's not like a fan because what it is, is if you can look here. It's more like an accordion fold. It's like an accordion fold. Accordion fold, yeah. accordion fold and it stands up and there's a gap. So what happens if you look straight on, you don't see this ledge here and you see what's straight on. Then when you go to the left, you'll see a different picture. When you go to the right, you'll see a different picture. It's kind of a cool thing trying to make. Then you've got the, you know, the toys that spun and you've got the things. Nobody brought any tops in. I figured we'd have some tops. That was an old-fashioned top. Here was, here's, here's, the one, here's one with a string similar to that button thing. It's not quite there yet. Uh, here was a top they used, you know, just made your thing and made a pencil. Here was a jumping jack that probably could, you probably could make that with a, uh, you know, you could cut that out on a scroll saw and you could attach all these pieces and then you pulled on the string and it, you know, the legs, legs and arms went one way or another. Um, here was the floating ball. You know, you basically took a soda straw and you put a ball on it and you see how high you could get it and how long you could keep it on there. Um, here was a buzz saw. Remember, I remember growing up. Remember, remember, remember on your bicycles. What worked the best? Playing cards. Playing cards. Yeah. Playing cards, especially plastic ones. That that you used what kind of clothespins? The old-fashioned snap clothespins. You put them on there. Wooden clothespins. Yeah, wooden clothespins are the old. Uh, baseball cards. Yeah, baseball cards worked well too. <coughs> there was there was a buzz saw. Then you had. Pipes. So here's where you could, you know, put them, put the different soda straws together and created a, created a, uh, um, was a xylophone? Pan flute. Huh? It's a pan flute. Pan flute. Okay. I guess that's what it said, didn't it? Yeah. Pan pipe. I'm upside down and backwards. It's kind of hard. But anyway, so that does it. Then here was a balancing man. Basically a coat hanger and you made the man and he was on the top and because you had your wires out he, he stood on the top and balanced. Then these, these are common, you see a lot of these, and I see a lot of these when I go to Savannah and stuff, they'll have a different, different things and they're on one pivot and there's a counterweight at the bottom and they go back and forth and a lot of times the, the, the people will move or the hands will move when it goes back and forth. But that was an old-fashioned toy. This was made out of paper and, and used and used a coat hanger. Then you had the trapeze. Then there was a magical lantern. And you had uh, the movie slideshow. I was trying to find you. Then you remember remember the remember the remember the snakes and stuff that you would make. You can make them out of paper or cardboard or real fine stuff, and then if you if you put a candle underneath them, then they would spin because of the because of the uh, yeah airflow down below it. Serpents were always a good one for that. Then you had a tumbler, and then oh, you got you could put it over a hot light bulb too. That's what you probably did as a kid. You probably weren't allowed to use a flame. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, here's. That was in my adulthood. Here's a helicopter. This one basically, you could take a piece of pine wood and you cut it one way, cut it the other way, and twist it and put a thing in there. And when you twisted it, it would go up and down.
Then there was a helico helicopter parachute, which he made out of strips of paper. Then there was the, uh, you had the wrestlers you put on a string. I just prepared parachutes, parachutes. Here's a cup and ball. That's been around for a while. You know, you take the cup and ball, you make it. I guess more more turning people make the cup and ball. What you do is you, you have the string in the middle, and the object is throw it up and, and Catch get the ball in the, in the thing. Oh, this was we used to do, remember what you did. You take something, something big and you put a string to it, and then you. Twirl and make a noise maker. Scare dog. Huh? Scare dog. Didn't scare a dog. Hey, I tried one of these. Didn't I didn't do really well on it. Tried Jacob's ladder, which is a real old toy. It's tough, but trying to get all the strings and stuff on it could it just I couldn't get it to stay glued on me for some reason, but it's, this one's got a pretty good pattern in here for doing it. That's what I had to do. You had to do all the strings like that on the other page. Let me get this this way. See yeah. the page. And then what you do after you got them all that way, then you put them, you put them all together with the strings going the other way, and then once you did it, it worked. I attempted it. I got about halfway through it. But it's a very old toy. It was, um, I'll read something here. It was based on the book of Genesis and the prophet and and it was back in the uh, late 1900s is when it when it came out Jacob's ladder and then remember the pentagrams then there was the, the pinwheels you know which is still a lot of them made, but what I'm saying, they're just a piece of paper and basically you made two cuts and you just made sure you, you twisted one back and twisted the other one back to make the pinwheel. Now they make them out of what? Everything plastic. Plastic and none of them are made in the U.S., I don't think. See, there's... See, basically that's what there was and just a drawing and that made it, made it come together. Remember the old periscope? Remember the periscope you can make out of a, if you're lucky enough to get a big tube or you'd have to make your own, you know. That's a weapon of war in World War I. Mm -hmm. yeah. I look out of the trenches but I get shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you got the bubble blower, bubble pipe. And that's but I'm just uh, I thought we'd do some to show you what some different things to do. We used to make things like uh, rubber band guns, and slingshots, and yeah, all the yeah. violent stuff that you can't take to school anymore. <laughs> what 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 toy do you remember the most over there on the end? <laughs> oh, there was there was so many of them. You know, it's... Kick the can. <laughs> <laughs> George. <laughs> Any particular toy growing up that you remember? No, you, you mentioned the uh, rubber band gun. I had one that had had a wheel on the back. You could hook about six rubber bands to it. So yeah. Each time you pull the trigger, one would release. You had a six-shooter. Yeah. Okay. Rubber band. Next row, Dick. Do you ever remember taking a little steel rim and take your piece of wire and roll that thing down the road? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did they they called that? Um, Hoops. Who think? Who something? And then a lot of folks take a little rubber tire and flip it up. I had a lot of fun with slingshot. Slingshot. I had a, got in a lot of trouble with it, but I had fun with it. And used and used uh, used uh, inner tube. Yeah. Used the inner tube as the rubber, and then yeah. when, when when did the rubber start getting though? It was a certain time you could use the rubber. It's been a long, long time, but the rubber you get now, you can't do it. You have to get rubber out of a doctor's office or yeah, something to make it now. Surgical, surgical tubing. It yeah. used to be a natural rubber. Now you got synthetic, synthetic rubber. Synthetic. That, stu that stuff won't do. Not stretchy. 
But I'm saying, then you have, then you got to go out in the woods back then. If you lived in the country, go find go find that crotch tree. We got some people. I learned on Saturday they keep looking for those crotch trees. <laughs> Except they want to cut a piece. They out want to cut it into a bowl, you know, <laughs> with or without bark. I mean, you know, I don't know. I used to take a board and cut my thing out and make my thing. Okay. Uh, I remember the um, we made these zip guns um, where you take the use a clothespin and a heavy duty rubber band on a piece of board and um, you take the tops of the um, the, um, the tops of the cans, the aluminum cans, the little um, ring part, and attach that to a rubber band and just hold it onto the um, clothespin and just hmm. release it and let it fly and stuff. I mean, they were pretty we dangerous. would play marbles until I had to wear my mm -hmm. thumb nail in two. <laughs> marbles, okay. Yeah. A hobby horse on uh, springs. Uh, a wooden hobby horse on oh, springs. springs. On springs, okay. Like the one George made. I remember the bolo bat, and I hated that thing because I couldn't do it. <laughs> I remember it because my mother used it on me. <laughs> you know what it is, don't you? A rubber ball and a a rubber band and a bat, and you tried to bat the ball. Oh, wow. it, it was like it was like it was like yeah. this, only this was rubber. Yeah, right? yeah. and, and you could go. Yeah, you batted the ball. Remember, here. remember the first three D movie that came out. They took that bolo thing and they pop it out there and you'd be ducking it all. Yeah. <laughs> and you hit yourself in the face with it. And by the way, that, that, some of the latest magazines I got, I'm thinking it's one of the scroll songs, got a machine gun rubber band. Did you see that thing? Yeah. yeah. I think it, well, no, I think, yeah, I think, it's I, I think it's on, um, I think it's on Steve Goods. I think he's yeah. got one out there well, too. Well, it's in a magazine I just got in the last, Couple, three, couple weeks. It's okay. like I missed that one. It's a Gatling gun rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. I yeah, missed that it's gonna be illegal in a week or two anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Back row. Um, I didn't make this, but uh, the it's some uh, cardboard tubing. The top was a uh, uh, sort of like a I don't know what you call it. It's a projectile that fit inside the tube, yeah. somewhat snug. You take that tube, slide it over another one, and you pull it down real hard. Oh, yeah. And it what creates pressure, and it just pops that nose piece straight up in the air. That's kind of like those just potato a, guns, right? Those things are pop gun, manually, they? but they? Pop, yeah, like a pop I think you call them cork guns or something like that. Yeah, but I don't know what you're talking the about. The tube's yeah. about three inches diameter, yeah. and they're about five, six feet tall. <coughs> of course, I, I was little, so it seemed real big, so I don't know how big they are. <laughs> yeah, the bazooka. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, we used to play with uh, handmade paddles and use a ping pong ball, but you're playing outdoors. But it's kind of like a combination of table tennis and badminton. <laughs> <Okay>. Chasing girls. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you're a kid. Only Marcus. <laughs> Marcus and George. I mean, you know, I mean, we, got, we used to. We have good memories. <laughs> we really used to enjoy going in that recess shoot more. To draw a circle, oh, yeah. and then we'd carry a bag full in your pocket, and you trade five for one or Cat what have you. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, well, that's where gambling started, isn't it? Because all <laughs> yeah. when I went with marbles, everybody carry mine home. <laughs> 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 I remember. I remember back then. Gambling's older than Christ. That's right. <laughs> and then we done kick the can. My kids never didn't know what kick. Was. <laughs> just horseshoe, just fun thing. That's all we need. Remember, remember in marbles, you used to have the big, big marbles. Long but, then, roll but, then, roll. but then there came a time when I came around, then you, they looked like they were a piece of metal. You Does know? anybody remember what tall was? What? Tall. You drew a line, and the one that come to the closest to the line, that's the one who got to shoot the marble or something. Got to go first? Oh, yeah. Tall yeah. to the line, yeah. Tall. That's yeah. what they called it. Tall. You ever, you ever play a wiffle ball? Mm -hmm. yeah. A little golf ball with holes in it and a broom handle. And we used to play that all day long because you could hit it and it wouldn't go very well. Well, the other one we used to play a lot was half rope. Was what? Half rope. That thing would go everywhere. Half rope. You used a, you used a, a half of cut a rubber ball in half. Broom handle, handle, and then you cut a cut a rubber ball. You cut a rubber ball dead in half, 
That sucker never went. I mean, you threw it. You didn't know where it was going. Every time got through, and when he hit it, it was all over the place. Uh, I think we're there. Yeah. Spitballs with the rubber band, <laughs> and you only did it when you were and the teacher was in there. <laughs> you had to do it without getting caught. And you knew, you knew, and you knew the, the person was here. here. And I actually call him my friend. My <laughs> gosh, uh, I would make uh, a slingshot, but instead of being the kind y'all were talking about, it was one like David used, where you had the two ropes sling. and, the, and it, it's a sling. Real, yeah, a slingshot. And, uh, and then you let go of one, and you had to work at getting. Uh, I got where I could put a rock through the uh, in a tire pretty well. Okay. Now we're there. Simple old syrup can. Put two holes, one in the top, one in the bottom. Fill it full of sand. Put a clothes hanger through it, and it was our steamroller. <laughs> Just drag it along behind you. <laughs> Running over things. <laughs> we played with more uh, things where you make your own trucks and stuff out of two by fours and different things where we made our own cars and trucks. And uh, I remember our my neighboring kid, the houses were about from there to the wall or you know from each other. And we had tin cans. And the strings going across it, trying to talk uh, to each other. Then you yeah. wax. It was wax. a nice theory, but it really didn't work. And the more wax you put on it, the better they were. Yeah, they, they just didn't work. Have, <laughs> is there some soup commercial? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Progress, uh, progress, progress, up. progress up. Okay. But. Remember the tin can, and, and some cans were better than other. And string, some string was better than other. It needed to be a single. If you tried to use multiple string, it didn't did transmit as well. And you'd see how far you could do it. Okay, Bob. Well, I spent uh, far too much time in trouble with uh, having discovered how to make explosives. <laughs> Terrorists. Well, we did that too, but that didn't count. <laughs> accidentally discovered how to make a, a uh, you know solid uh, solid fuel booster rocket, but but tried to burn down the neighbor's garage. <laughs> We used to take yeah. two, two bolts and a nut and fill it with the, with the, the uh, kits off matches and then you'd throw it down and the thing would blow up. Mm -hmm. Put yeah, two, old, two bolts in one nut from each side, yeah, right? right, right. When you fill the cavity in there, you don't put it all the way in. But the but you, you throw it down and it would hit. And it'd spark? Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't spark, no, it would bang. The original oh. pipe bomb. Take <laughs> that. <laughs> Big old whatever firecracker about the size of your thumb, put it in a can, and throw, it, throw it in the water, and see how high you can get that thing to come out of it. Cherry bomb. Oh, yeah. That's a vital over there. A bumper sticker on a window that that says when you something like when you absolutely positively need to blow it up, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Mine, like I said, mine, mine, like I said, I did a lot. I had, like I said, probably a lot, probably during that period of time, was a tree house. Had a tree house. Did the bike, did the bike with the, the cards a lot. Uh, pea shooters, that was, that was coming. I, because I lived in the north, uh, a lot of winter sports. Uh, from the standpoint, I used to like to make my own, uh, uh, you know, we were, we were very close to a place called Telmark, and we were also very big in Telmark, very big into, very big into, uh, uh, not downhill. Uh, Goodbye, cross country. No, no, no. Um, oh, sledding. No, going down, going down to, in where they. Oh, jumping. Jumping, ski jump, ski jumping. So, so of course, in my case, I had to create my own. So I would take hay bales and and get them and come off the hill and, and, and go up in the air as high as I could go and do it. And like I said, uh, you know, they used to do it down the, uh, down there in Wisconsin. We did it in the the ski jump would land. You'd land on the river. You'd land on the river because the river, of course, would be frozen at that time. But they would go up and it was a long entrance way. But I'm just saying, so I did a lot of that type stuff, you know, I mean, never got hurt. Um, no different than kids nowadays, with now now they got the motorized little bikes and whatever it is, but I'm saying, I used to come down hills and stuff. Um, used to love to do stuff with the wagon. 
used to back then was trying to, you know, I was a little bit older then and, and you know, had to mow the lawn, you know how that was. But I used to invent ways that I could hook the wagon to the lawnmower that happened to be self-propelled and then make it into a riding mower. That was pre-riding mower days, you know. Um, just little things like that. But uh, I know we've digressed a little bit from the scroll side side, but hopefully it was a, it was a fun night and uh, I appreciate it. Now, before we leave, out of those items that are legal for the presentation, who gets the card? I think they're all close enough. I wouldn't bother with them. <laughs> I well, didn't hold on anything up there. I would too. They're all good. Yeah. Well, we got to do like I said. I, I said I would do a card tonight, and I don't want to back off of what I said. Or do we want to save it for next time? It's your, it's your choice. Your guys are the voting on it. I'm not. I'm not voting. It's the audience. See, it's a tough group. So if you're gonna vote, you need paper so people can write. Okay. You need to put numbers on them or something so they can write them down. Everybody's got a ticket, right? Well, put one up and let them raise hands on it or something. That take too long. Everybody got a ticket? You got one if you got one right in the back. I know all these small ones were from Hobby Lobby, and I can't remember now that you brought that up, Jerry. These were some that um, Don Bedell brought in a bag of them, and I think that's where I got these big ones. I've never seen the big ones like that. I didn't know what to write on them. No, just put, just put, just, just say what it is. I mean, there's, it should be descriptive enough to say what it is. Just write on what it is. Well, they got three. Uh... Well, but you got a, a white one, a red one, and a natural wood one. You've got. Okay. This is the this is the corn thing. Corn thing. You know the the astronauts. Uh, you got the ladder the ladders. Uh, you got the kangaroo. You got the hockey game. You've got the climbing bear, climbing bears, the swing, the swing, the forty Ford. Wait, that's not forty. Oh, you got the you got the Ford, the pink Ford, the pink Ford. <laughs> bigness does bigness doesn't help, but you know they're all they're all you know. Oh, you right got the carry. You got the carriage. Okay, drop them in.
see the tape the other day where they found a meth lab cooking underneath the child in his crib? No, isn't no. that something? There's sick people in this yeah. world. This one's out because it wasn't that black. It was underneath the child's crib and the child was in the crib. I thought it was in an apartment across from here. It was fine. It was just a few. John's Creek in an apartment. Yeah. Okay, I have a winner. I have a winner. The winner is. And she made two of them. And I appreciate it. And that's a $25 gift certificate for Peachtree. So maybe you can do something. But I appreciate everybody coming. Uh, we've still got, still got some time to look at some stuff. Uh, any questions on any of the stuff that's made? Like I said on these, if you make them balanced, they don't work. If you make them unbalanced, you don't have to make... You don't have to make a big hole. <laughs> huh? That's not true. Why wouldn't you make them balanced? Well, what I'm just saying, if they're absolutely balanced, they don't have enough counterweight to come back the other direction. At least that's what they I can They come back from concentrical force. But if, if, it, if, it, if, it just, if, it's, if it's level, it doesn't work. Well, I couldn't make it work until I changed the strings and made it so it was a little bit lopsided on one side. Well, you could put a heavier object on one side. That's what I was saying. You put a nut or something underneath. Make you a bigger animal. This one really works well. And our marble guy said he needs to make the trough deeper yeah. or wider. Yeah, a little wider. Yeah, a little bit. I got a made four. You made four of the hardest things. Fishing line. Or just have the right person put it in. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky. Try it again. What seems to be the problem? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this marble. Isn't that normal when you're trying to show something? Hey, just to have one too going up. Look what he looked at. Hey, look how that thing is put together. Did anybody see the dovetails on there? Yeah, he said that. How about that? But, uh, anywho. But, uh, any, any just journalistic questions about what we got? <laughs>